Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue. I'm the Black Powder Editor for Guns of the Old West magazine. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, we got contacted at the magazine by a fellow named John Gurney, who makes combustible paper cartridges. And he offered me some to test, and I never say no to free ammo, so he sent me a sample of them. He makes cartridges for both the 1860 Army, like this one, and for the 1851 Navy. Uh, he makes them in a variety of packaging. Very interesting guy. I promised John I wouldn't reveal any of his contact information other than his name because he just does this as a sideline and he couldn't stand a uh, kind of a run of orders. Uh, but he does want everybody to see how great shooting paper cartridges are. So he sent me a sample and he's letting me run them in the magazine and here on the video. And uh, we'll show you how they work. But First, I want to show you, John uses this conical bullet over on the left, and this is a 44 caliber bullet. And I've got a 44 caliber round ball, like most of us use, on the right. Uh, in fact, in the 19th century, most people did load with conicals and not with round balls. And most people did use cartridges, combustible cartridges. Muzzle loading cartridges are not a new invention at all. Uh, the, the earliest ones go back to at least 1590. But with Colt's revolvers coming out in the late 1840s and 1850s, uh, cartridges took on a whole new meaning. They were something for rapid loading. They were self-contained. There were three main types in the 19th century. There were cartridges made of gut, uh, which is really dried intestine, covered with shellac. Those were very uh, watertight but very fragile. There was foil cartridges, also watertight. Not so fragile, but uh, you had to rip the end off to get them exposed to the cap. And then there were cartridges of nitrated paper, which is the kind that John makes, and you can see them right here. And in fact, you can see how this conical cartridge translated directly into the 44 Colt uh, brass cartridge that was used with cartridge conversions in the 1870s. John's 44 caliber cartridges use a 216 grain conical bullet uh, that's uh, 0.459 inches in diameter and that's loaded over 25 grains of 3F black powder which essentially is the same load that we find later in, on in the 44 Colt uh, brass cartridge. John's 36 caliber paper cartridge uses a uh, 379 diameter conical bullet that weighs 130 grains over 14 grains of 3F black powder. That load is essentially the same load that we will find later in the 38 Colt brass cartridge. So let's get these paper cartridges out to the range and see what they can do in the 1860 Army and 1851 Navy revolvers. We're going to start off today with this replica of the 1860 Army revolver. This one is by Taylors and Company. The 1860 was the most popular sidearm with Union forces during the Civil War, and it was quite popular out west until the introduction of cartridge arms as well. Now we're going to open up a package of combustible paper cartridges and load up the 1860 Colt Army Revolver and see how these babies do. So let's get them loaded up. Let's open up the packaging here. The fellow who made these, John, has made a variety of interesting and authentic packages. So, let's get the Colt revolver out here. This is a Colt 1860 Army. The cartridges are tapered. And they will load right in here. Alright, we've got it right in there and we are going to ram it and there we go Next, we'll be using the 1851 Colt Navy revolver. This replica is also from Taylor's Company. It's made by Uberti. This is a London model that has loop seal back straps instead of brass. This uh, was probably the most popular weapon among gunfighters 
uh, right up until the 1873 Colt Single Action Army. The 36 caliber Navy cartridges have an interesting packaging. You rip off uh, this copper wire, which opens this up, and then you open up a fiber box, and there are the six cartridges nestled inside. All right, to load them, you slide the cartridge into the chamber, get it under the loading lever, and then seat the bullet. We'll do another one. As you can see, you push the paper cartridge down into the chamber. You work it down underneath the loading lever, like so. Get the loading lever set, and then you do that. And you load that six more times in the 19th century, but these days we only load five, so that's what I'm going to load up. All right, we finished the loading process by capping each of the nipples. As I said, we've only loaded five. Uh, that way we can put the hammer down on an empty chamber for safety. And now let's take them out and see what they'll do out on the range.